Hello. Friends. This is our blog. I wanted to talk to you again about my plans for homesteading in Alaska. Now some of you think I'm just kidding, but I assure you I really am stupid enough to do this. Now life out in the wilderness is hard and it will not be safe or luxurious. Remarkably I have not been able to find a woman willing to go with me. It is as a fault the ladies I know have no interest in backbreaking labor. Extreme temperatures, the danger of disease and the possibility of being eaten by wild beasts. Wimps. I guess I can see their point and I would not want to sugarcoat the truth. It will be hard, so any ladies interested should consider it carefully. My last girlfriend just was not right. Let me tell you about her. She was not perfect but she was always loyal and faithful. I remember when I lost my job last year. She was right there beside me. And when I got into a terrible car accident she was right there. Later when Red Earth Rachel decided to press charges against me. She was right there. You know actually now that I think about it. I think she may just be bad luck. She also told me I was a loser. Now I get that from strangers on the street all the time but that is different. Cause if you're a stranger and you say I'm a loser then you're really just guessing. But I digress. She was also kind of a whiner. Now I would not call her a total loser hag. But if you did you would be correct. But let me tell you what I would like in a girl. It's not an easy request but I will tell you what I want. Maybe you can recommend a nice girl to me like this. I guess I really want a smoking hot chick who is strong enough to be awesome with me without whining a lot. I need a strong young lady who knows how to plow a field. I would prefer a woman with three years. Plow experience. But will consider all interested applicants. Maybe it would be better to give you an example of the type of woman I want. This is a true story actually but I bet they do not teach it in public schools. It is the story of an early American settler named Hannah Dusting. She was strong owned and could kick some serious butt. Hannah was married and had nine children. One was just six days old. One day the natives attacked and kidnapped her and the baby. They made her march 60 miles in the winter to a native village. When the baby slowed her down one of the kidnappers smashed the baby against a tree and they marched on. When they got to the village she was forced to be a slave for one of the families. She was there with a 14 year old boy. The captors figured they were too weak and tired to make much trouble. But one night Hannah and the boy got some hatchets and started bashing people's heads in. They killed nine of the eleven and the last two survived but were seriously injured. They started to leave and she realized that some might not believe this story so she went back and scalped them. Then she canoed back home. Now Hannah was one hardcore brothers. She later had three more babies and lived a good life. I guess sometimes you do not know what you can do until you push yourself and sometimes you do not know until you are pushed. I plan to push myself to my limits just to see what happens. Being awesome is not easy. But you know what? It's awesome. Until next time, I remain your humble servant. Zarpod. Zarpod is cool.